Welcome back to Supremely Black Podcast, man. You already know who it is. You already know what to do. We're going to jump right into it. Deshaun Watson um, has officially been suspended six games. Well, I'm not going to say officially because the lawyer or the judge, rather, uh, Sue Robinson, has released a six-game suspension. Um, the NFL can appeal. I think they have up to two to three days to actually appeal it um they wanted a year she went in with the six games so we'll see if that would be shortened would that be extended etc a meeting on the nfl and just how they wait they see the public backlash and see things like this um here's my thoughts i've been very very uh, cautious with even wanting to cover this because i'm a firm believer that you know you're innocent until you're proven guilty and um uh, but I just still feel sometimes that our people are slighted to where are judged based off of either skin color or demographic, what have you. Uh, so it's unfair judgment. So we're guilty to proven innocent. Uh, now, there was 24 women uh, that came out. Deshaun has settled with 23 of them. And my, and my honest thoughts to this, and it may piss a few people off, but it is what it is. I've been around women that have had things occur to them in a sexual way that where it was either forced or not appreciated. And I can tell you this, um, they actually wanted justice criminally. What always jumped out as a red flag to me with this situation is that nobody wanted to press actual charges on him. Everybody was taken the civil route, which civil lawsuits are for monetary gain. And I've always looked at him like that. Most of the people did. I felt that it was kind of shady that when he had came out and said that he was wanting to leave the Houston Texans, that they, uh, that all of these claims started to come out when, um, from my understanding, there were agreements that were signed upon and, it was due to the connection of him being a professional football player for the Houston Texans. So when he said that he wanted to force a trade or leave Houston, a lot of this came out. It looked very shady. Um, for There's been women that have uh, shown who they were and came out. Uh, but again, it wasn't to the masses. It was just a collective, peop- a, a, a collective group. A lot of them had the same lawyer that were representing them in these civil cases. Uh, which again, that's a red flag. Those are things that are coming out. Uh, that just it didn't seem right to me. And I'm not saying that he's completely innocent, but it just seems shady to me that that the people that I know and I've spoke to near and dear over the months that this has been going on. He didn't a year rather. He didn't even play last year. Uh, but talking to women that have been through this in real life, um, they would want real prosecution. They would want criminal charges. They wouldn't. For what they had experienced, uh, it, there's nothing that money could really buy for that. You know what I'm saying? Like those type of things that you just can't get by. And I think when you put money on it, it just kind of takes away from it. Now, Deshaun could be a little, 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 little freaky or perverted or what have you. But I just see a lot of strong takes. And just to speak on one, and this is not no back and forth, but Sean King had a very broad stance, called him a pervert. Um, he spoke with the women individually. There was hardworking black women. I get it. I get it. I, I know what you stand for. Some of your work I really agree with. Just like we're all human, I'm not going to always agree with things. Just like you all listening may not agree with this. It's cool. It's it's life. But when you step out and say somebody's a pervert and you spoke with the ladies involved, as a man, this is how I look at it. I'm going to need to speak with both sides of the party when you think about something that's as serious as sexual assault and we know that you know we could typically bond or cater to one side but the the truth of the matter is there's always three sides you know the two individuals and then the actual truth so i wouldn't be able to just take the side of the woman just like i wouldn't be able to take the side of a man i just think that people that have a huge platform and and people draw and listen to we have to be very mindful of creating those type of thoughts and placing labels on people just because you may not agree 
with the overall ruling because to call somebody a pervert and say that you spoke to one side is very distasteful because you're not really you you didn't take into account at all of what the brother could have said because again how I look at it is that they did not want monetary gain from this. I mean, they only wanted monetary gain from it. I don't see any heavy things of trying to get this into court to have him criminally charged for the actions that they said that he had took. And so I didn't necessarily care for that. Cause you know, that, that's, that's just not the way to go about it. And if you have an issue with the NFL, I'd rather you come out and say that, but don't do that to the defamation of somebody else's name. You know what I'm saying? Like, because at the end of the day, uh, with anybody that has a huge following and no matter how you may feel about certain things, it just goes to like, if you, have you feel about it, sorry to cut off, but however you may feel about certain things is that take that up with the NFL, but take a different approach with it because you have to think, man, you, you are really placing a label on somebody that hasn't been criminally charged with anything. And he settled outside of court because their overall focus of the 24 women uh, that claim out and said anything and the 23 that he actually settled with, they only wanted money. Hasn't nothing has been presented in court that says that he was actually guilty. It was a lot, a bunch of hearsay. Uh, so to people like Sean King and other people that may take their stance, we have to be more mindful of that when we have these platforms and you speak about things like that. And his platform is huge. That's, that's not even me comparing those two. But just to see him take such a broad, a broad stance, it's, it's, that was it was hella dis, distasteful, man. It's, you have too big of a following to make such a stance for something that hasn't been criminally someone that hasn't been criminally prosecuted and settled outside of court because that's what they wanted it's like if he or you know anybody like him is put into the position to where they may somebody may lie on them or somebody may put allegations on you and the only thing they want from you is like the financial side of it everybody's going to be looking at that from different sides of this why would they just want money if they've been really you know attacked or abused or you know a lot of different things bro so it's just i didn't like that take on i'm not liking people really just jumping out the window with that it could be a deeper dive and we find out exactly what's going on it could be criminal charges who knows i just wish the best of whatever comes out of the situation but just to see people jumping out the window and when the ladies really wasn't trying to press those charges or we haven't seen it we got to be mindful of that and i follow it up if i end up being wrong I'm wrong. I can live with that. I can write my wrong and come on and speak about, okay, hey, this is actually what was found out. But just want money and then calling the man a pervert and et cetera because you spoke to one side. We can't do that. We have to hear both sides of it, my brother. Uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Let me know your comments. Do you think six games is too much? Do you think, as he said out last year, that was enough? Do you feel like people like Sean King are jumping out the window just to be, you know, a little extra because it's the NFL? I don't know. You let me know if I'm right or wrong. As always, long live CC. I'm out.